I'm now going to move the signal where I want it. Back up here. Mine jumped about, so. <coughs> and that was there. I'll put the signal there. Then if you click on the lever, the signal will drop. Nope, there we go. You click it again, in other words the point opens for the, uh, for the train to continue straight on. And the signal, with any luck, will come off. There you go. That's if you use a T1. If you use an auto signal here, that won't work. Anyway, that's that. Finally on the signal front, you choose a 1T, which means, to me it means one junction. And the signal goes down wherever you want to place it before the junction. Oh, I've got loads of lag here at the moment. I guess it's because my memory has been used up. You place the first marker by the signal itself, the second one beyond the point that you want to change it to. Dead easy. You have to turn the signal round, obviously, to face the way you want it to face. And then you have to move the markers. Hold your mouse over them, click on them, and they'll change direction. And if you're unlucky enough to miss one, you can always undo it. And that then will control that point. So if I pull that lever, I'll save this first, so you can see what I mean. Okay, saved. If I pull the lever ahead of the signal, on the point, the signal should go red. <laughs> I don't know if I pulled it or not, I can't tell. Oh, it's still loading it, I think. Loads of lag. Like. 